nine inch blurbs greetings check out this little thing we've got a neat little monitor it is a nine inch crt this is a vga crt i picked this up while thrifting a while back and it's monochrome it's just, just a neat little thing so this uh, came to mind after doing uh, the STS Techom little 5 inch drive bay CRT deal over an LGR and just got to thinking about, oh yeah, there's some other little cool monochrome displays out there. I tweeted out a picture of it. Folks were like, oh, that's cool. What in the world? So here it is. Uh, I figured I'd do a blurb real quick. Compact. Nice little thing. <laughs> Very much meant for uh, businesses. And in particular, point of sale terminals, I believe, yeah, you can see some of the information back here, model number JD093A from the Etc. Computer Company, <laughs> Etc. Computer Incorporated, well that's, sticker is being, all right, well, there we go. Anyway, yeah, Etc. Computer, I can't find like any other information about this whatsoever. In fact, you search for that JDO 93 a you're probably just gonna find my own picture on Twitter. But it certainly exists. And yeah, as far as I know, like I said, it was sold for point of sale terminals, systems, cash registers, whatever, connected to that type of thing that uses VGA, usually a PC. But yeah, anything really that just happens to have VGA. Uh, and that's really the whole appeal of this. So check it out. Straight up normal VGA right there. It's missing the pins that it doesn't need. But this will plug into anything that has that and uh, it just takes a color signal, drops a couple of the colors, and then you'll get a monochrome. All right, it is a white or gray monochrome. It's not green or amber or anything like that, unfortunately, but it's pretty cool for the size. And yeah, you've got this part that just plugs into the back of the power supply of a computer, so it powers on whenever you power on the computer. But of course it also has somewhere in here, yeah, a little, a little power button down there too. So you can at least control that. But if you just leave that in the on position, then it'll power on whenever your system is powered on if you've got uh, that plugged into the back there. If not, then you can just plug a normal power cable into this and plug it straight into the wall. Like with a lot of the earlier monochrome monitors back in the day from IBM and Amdeck and whoever else, they used the same kind of things. But uh, yeah, nothing back here other than horizontal phase and vertical size. Not much in terms of controls. Of course, in the front, you got brightness and contrast. And that's it. Uh, but it is a surprisingly good looking little monitor when he got it running. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me just plug in a computer and uh, I don't know what I'm gonna even do with this other than show that it exists because this is LGR blurbs and I have a ruler. It's all sprungy. All right, got the monitor set up here with the Quantex 486DX running Windows 3.1 and DOS just powered on. And yeah, the other monitor being plugged into the rear of the power supply just automatically powers it like that. And there we go. Looking nice and sharp. Uh, I'll get it zoomed in here a little bit more <laughs> once we get everything booted up, get some games going or something. But I just think it's rather amusing seeing this smaller monitor on this desktop PC, kind of a, a small shrunken head look to it. <laughs> and yeah, there we go. It is monochrome, but we're in DOS. So it doesn't make any difference. We go into something though that would have normally a blue background and yeah it's completely black that is supposed to be blue it would be blue if we weren't using this monitor but we are so yeah blue is just one of the colors that it completely gets rid of let's just open check it pro here and uh get something else going in terms of a bit of a test real quick so bright there we go and what in the world refresh rate is that? 71. Okay, well, anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna run the CGA4 color palette test. So we've got two gray bars that would be colors and one black bar in the middle. Yeah, 
that you would be seeing four colors there. Let's open up the EGA 16 color palette test. Similar thing, of course. Uh, it's just interesting to see how these monochrome monitors make it work, what they get rid of, what they keep. And in this case, here is what it would look like if you had a full SVGA monitor going on. So you can see everything that it's getting rid of. It's pretty much just keeping green in terms of the RGB values, and then everything else is pretty much tossing aside, like solid reds and blues just gone and things in that range. And the VGA 256 color palette test, yeah, that's what that looks like. Which, if we were to run that on a color display, would look like this. <laughs> so, I mean, it is VGA in terms of the resolution and the connection and the colors it's technically outputting through there, but yeah, obviously it's just, it's just losing all of that. So uh, it's interesting, right? And this is completely different than like say a grayscale display, which would actually take all of those and then crush them down into a monochromatic kind of scales of gray, really. So you'd have different shades for all of those, but really with this, it's just discarding things. And uh, that's how it works with these types of monitors because typically all you're displaying is like black and white. So it's fine, oh, like a cash register. I find it fascinating. No, 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 don't test everything. <laughs> All right, so now that we know which colors it doesn't have, let's uh, game a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, Epic Pinball. This should be interesting. <laughs> Especially because uh, there's, there's so many blues and reds in this. Uh, this text right here is like, this is not shareware, don't redistribute. And here's some normally red and orange kind of text can really barely even see this menu. It's just the colors it's using, uh, or really not using, not coming through. Yeah, there is a blue Android there, somewhere. <laughs> uh, it's neat, I think. Obviously this isn't uh, anywhere near what it was intended to do. It pretty much just play, uh, displayed text and some programs. Not meant to play any games, but dang it. And there is a, a slight bit of ghosting too. I don't know how much you're noticing, but there is a little bit. But yeah, anyway, I was gonna say if I were working at a place that had a display like this, like a DOS PC connected to the cash register, a little bit downtime, I would totally be trying to put Epic Pinball on there. I know I've done that in some other jobs but uh, none of them had displays this low tech. I think it's neat. <laughs> it's quite sharp, you know? Sharp. Not nearly as sharp as something like the STS Techon thing, but still quite nice. Doom, of course. I mean, that right there looks pretty cool if you just don't pay attention to all of the redness that would be going on in the background and like, ooh, some of these levels. Oh man, as if Doom wasn't dark and atmospheric enough already. Cannot see the text whatsoever in the menus because of course it's just red. But uh, you know, let's get the brightness going. Some areas it looks actually pretty nice. <laughs> you got a bunch of light of a certain color going on. And yeah, I'm playing full keyboard down here. Oh man, why am I doing this? I got a mouse right there if I wanted it. Honestly, I find this entirely playable uh, for the most part. There are, of course, those few levels where things just get really dark in a certain way or use a lot of reds and blues. But I mean, like the floor right there, that's just green, so it looks fantastic. <laughs> the, uh, the text, again, being pure red is just pure black in this case, but... I don't know, it adds a fascinating vibe to an already fascinatingly vibey kind of game. Yeah, 
yeah, dude. I don't know. <laughs> it kind of suits it, having such pitch black lettering. All right, how about Commander Keen, episode five? Good old Armageddon machine. Yeah, once again, uh, that looks pretty awesome. Yeah, nice and crispy, crispy pixels. Look at that dithering. I hope that's coming across. I, I, do I have it focused right? I think I did. I don't know. Looks pretty good to me. Okay. Got some SVGA problems there. <laughs> that is not anything to do with a the monitor. There we go. Oh man, I, that, yeah, there's totally a pole there. If I didn't know that was there, that would blend in completely with the background. Like there's poles here. I wanna say the background's, whoops. Background is blue here and the poles are purple. So, <laughs> not exactly playable. You know, when you have games like this that are uh, so keyed in to like individual colors going on. I mean, this is an EGA game, it's not VGA, so there's not as many colors to spread around, which means there's less to lose as well. Or less you can afford to lose, that is. Get over here, you jerk, I wanna shoot you. There we go. Neat. I mean, obviously, always. Duke Nukem, without any colors. All I need is green. Okay. It's set very quiet. I don't know why. Probably had a volume down for some other video I was recording on here. <laughs> uh, oh man, again with the red. Uh. Yeah, can't see anything. Oh, my mouse is stuck. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know if the mouse was optimal for this. I don't really have it set up in a spot that makes sense for it. Oh dear, performance. We barely have it. case of like I just know that there's enemies over there so I'm just gonna shoot like I know there's a dude over there okay oh, well <laughs> whoops all right how about some windows oh didn't like that Well, what resolution do I have it set to? Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's the other thing. 640 by 480 is the limit here. I did not mean to go into that. And like 70 hertz. So it didn't like the driver, I guess. Refresh rate or something. Yeah, like this, uh, this card that's in there, it, it does a lot. Let's put it all the way down. To that. Ah, that doesn't like that either. Hmm. Odd. Well, that is. Hmm. Yeah, I've just I've <laughs> I've never tested Windows 3.1 on this little monitor. There's like no reason it shouldn't display. It must just be something to do with the way I have those drivers. Eh, I'll try one other thing real quick. Nothing back here. I didn't think so. This is mostly just for like geometry. So, all right, get that back. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. 
I just wanted to show that this little monitor is neat. Uh, I was just sort of thinking about it because it uh, came up in conversation and that's all there is to that. Uh, keep an eye out for these little point of sale POS monitors. <laughs> They're kind of neat. And thanks for watching this blurb.